So you bought a Ninja 400, but you cannot stand the granny panty hanging ugly tail fender. Welcome. It's gonna be okay. You were in the right place. I hope you are doing good mentally, physically, and mechanically. If you're new here, my name is Aspantera, and today we are gonna do the best freaking mod you can possibly do, getting rid of that ugly ass fender. To do this, you're gonna need a four millimeter Allen, a five millimeter Allen, a ratchet, with a 10 millimeter socket and a 13. And then obviously the hardware. If you're watching this, you probably also went with TST. This is their standard mount, but they do have some other options. Let's go. First, we're gonna remove these and make sure you keep them because they're gonna get reused. All you need to do is loosen up these wing nuts on the back. Next, remove the passenger seat with your key. Now remove the driver's seat by pulling this cable. Now if you want, you could remove this tray, just to get it out of the way. Um, it's just got these little cotter pin things right there, but I think it's fine. So these are the three connectors inside this little sleeve that you have to disconnect. Here's a better look at the three wires that you're gonna be taking off. Take your five millimeter Allen and take out these four bolts right here. That's one. You just want to kind of route them out of this little holdy thing. On the last bolt, make sure you hold it because that is all that is keeping it together. And let these wires freaking go through. And there you go! You did it! The bracket is going to get mounted right there. So you just need to put those in. Don't tighten it all the way just so you can afford to make some adjustments. Okay, now you're gonna take two of the bolts that came with the bike and take these last two nuts that came with the hardware and basically just fill up the holes right here. You'll need a five millimeter Allen and a 13 millimeter socket. You're almost done. Now all you have to do is take your license plate, put it right here and put these mounts back on and then you're done. Okay, I lied. You have to put the seat back on, but you pretty much did it. Congratulations! Man, shout out to TST Industries because for $25, man, you can have your bike looking completely different from the back. They do have options if you wanted to keep your uh, turn signals and stuff. They would have a different bracket where you can just mount the stock um, parts. But I went with this because I plan to get the integrated tail light in the future. But $25 to get rid of this ugly freaking granny panty hanging ugly fender. Definitely like it. And I got this shirt, which is so soft love it so much. <laughs> also, I'm really excited because I ordered some crash protection, um, frame sliders, the spoolie boys, thing up there for the fork, I think it's called. Oh my god. I'm really excited and hoping to get all of that installed before Tale of the Dragon, just to have like a little bit of peace of mind. I mean, you buy this expensive ass bike, it's worth it to invest a little bit of money to protect it. But thank you so much for watching. If you're trying to do this at home, I hope this video was helpful, kind of guided you along. Thank you for the support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!